I'd like to say, I'd like to say, I'm very proud of all of you. I'm very proud of all of you. We're standing up for ourselves. We're standing up for ourselves. Much of our committee, much of our committee, discussed the negotiation process. Discussed the negotiation process. We had a general sentiment. We had a general sentiment that the way discussions have been happening, that the way discussions have been happening, have not been from a place of power. Have not been from a place of power. To quote someone, to quote someone, they've been upside down. They've been upside down. The power should be the other way around. The power should be the other way around. We of course refuse the demand. We of course refuse the demand. And don't like that the process with which they have been discussed. And don't like the process at all. One of our members said, One of our members said that she heard someone discussing these. She heard a committee of people. She heard a committee of people discussing these demands. Discussing these demands days ago. Days ago. That are now being said. That are now being said to come from the city. Come from the city. We said. We said that we have that. We agree with the with the transparency proposal. We agree with the transparency of the proposal. But we think it doesn't go far enough. We think it doesn't go far enough. Because even if because even if the the city and the police have to come to the GA, have to come to the GA. Other members, other members who have had private meetings, who have had private meetings with the LAPD, with the LAPD and the city, and the city. Do so. Can still do so. And we don't and we feel that those people, and we feel that those people have undermined our trust. And and undermined yes, our trust. So we are suggesting so we are suggesting that there actually be a recall that there actually be a recall of certain individuals of certain individuals we feel have violated our trust. Because we have to be clear about who is being re who is representing us, and for other people who may be representing us, who we feel are not actually representing our interests. Also, we we are saying that we want solidarity. That we want solidarity. No divisions in the movement. No divisions in the movement. If this movement gets uh, raided, if this movement gets raided, then it gets raided. Then it gets raided. Not half. Not half. All. All. Or none. Or none. We also have a specific demand. We also have a specific demand. We call the city council. We call the city council to resign. To resign. They don't represent us. They don't represent us. They never have. They never have. Okay, here's another thing. We aren't begging for anything. We aren't begging for anything. The reason why they're talking to us is because we have power. One of our members said that this is a historic moment. That we cannot fail. That these movements do not come along every day. And if we fail, it will be a huge setback. Not just in this city. And not just in this country. But worldwide. So we have to stand strong. And we have to be bold. And we have to be bold. And we also demand or suggest that we invite communities outside of occupation to be part of the demand because they too are part of the 99%. And in the end, this is a class struggle. And that's what we're here to do. And that's what unites us. Aside from the different movements that occur, we, I mean, the uniting factor is a class struggle. That's right. You know, it, it's just to announce just at the show 12, there's a protest, Occupy the Ports, Legalization for All, Jobs for All, Jobs. I'm sorry. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Slow so, down. Yeah. On December 12, there is a protest. There is a protest. Authorized by the GA. Authorized by the GA. Uh, to occupy the Ports. To occupy the Ports. And a demand. And a demand. For jobs for all, for jobs for all, or legalization for all, for 
legalization of all. Stop police repression. Stop police repression. And support truck drivers. And support truck drivers. And support workers' rights to organize. And support workers' rights to organize. Another point that we make. Another point that we make. That the city. That the city. And LAPD. And LAPD. Have consistently lied. Have consistently lied. And broken the law. And broken the law. And broken their promises. And broken their promises. And anything they negotiate with us. And anything they negotiate with us. <laughs> they have, they feel, they feel, and have set precedent, and have set precedent to revoke those, to revoke and, those and to lie to us. To lie to us. So we cannot trust, so we cannot trust them, them, them to say anything in good faith, to say anything, anything in good faith, even if we have it in writing. Even if we have it in writing. The Constitution is in writing. The Constitution is in writing. And the president is still breaking it. And the president is still breaking it. We are calling on people. We are calling on people to mobilize for this day. To mobilize for this day of the GA. And we should use this. We should use this to mobilize people to participate. To mobilize people to participate. To have more working class people here. To have more working class people here. To have more organized labor here. To have more organized labor here. Because this affects them. And they have ideas that some of us haven't thought of. And lastly, and lastly, when we get attacked, when we get attacked, we need the working class. We need the working class. We need organized labor. We need to defend us, to defend us, to speak for us, to speak for us, to fight for us, to fight for us. We need to be together. We need to be together.